Charlie here, and uh, thanks for tuning in. I was just taking a look back at some old videos, and I found this one. Cool thing about this is I was using yellows uh, most of the day, and I got a lot of footage, and this is what I salvaged. It was a bluefish bite, and it was pretty good, not the best. Um, few hours of fishing. Uh, I got most of the clips of the fish and uh, had a great time out there. And two things I noticed was I was tossing mostly yellow plugs and tours, um, needlefish, bottle plugs, and uh, poppers. And the bulk of the fish were on the needles and um, everything I threw that day, they were just all over the yellow. Um, so I thought this was a nice video to show you guys how um, I like to toss yellows on bright sunny days, as you can see. Coming up here, um, I get a lot of people ask how I work the needles, and this is how I generally work them. Fast, a little pause, slow, slow, and almost let it sit, so just let it sit, a little fast bursts, slow, and kind of erratic, but um, you can vary that retrieve, you can let it pause longer, you can crank it faster, um, you can let it sit there, you get a lot of strikes on the set, uh, what I found is a lot of times they'll hit on the pause, on the retrieve, but uh, probably mostly on the pause they'll hit, and you can almost let it just sit there. Um, needles are really fun to work. Um, the one I'm using in this video uh, tends to drop very slow uh, through the water column, so there's always something going on even when you're not doing anything. It's, 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 it's dropping. When you bring it, it almost rides up. Uh, if you work it fast, it'll almost work like a popper. Um, this fish was on the popper. Um, I went back and forth with different lures that day. Um, a few on the poppers, a few on bottle plugs. But the primary thing was everything was yellow. I did try other colors, I believe. I might have had a few fish on them as well, but mm, most of them were definitely keying in on the yellow. The bluefish really, really like the key on yellow, even if you're using diamond jigs, uh, yellow tubes. Of course, they'll hit all the colors. That's uh, without oh. discussion. But uh, yeah, got it in some days it makes the difference, you know. Yeah, I got it. They definitely want what they want, so give it to them. And uh, in some days they might not want the yellow. Um, definitely if it was a cloudier day, I would be using darker colors and just trying to find what the fish were feeding on. You want him? Well, this yeah. one I think I... He hit it from the side, so they almost will bat that in, with their heads to needle. Um, sometimes in aggravated fashion. A uh, fella over there, he wanted a couple of fish for him and his family, so I uh, gave him a few. Yeah, um, he had it in the, in the mouth. And when he, he's helping me unhook it. When he came in, that's when. But uh, I don't mind. You know. um, it's getting a little darker out now, and the bite's still going on. Just enjoying the day. It, it not, not certainly not the one of the best days I had out there. Fish weren't too big. You know, you can see they're two, four, five pounds. Um, the bite was somewhat steady. Um, I know I had w well over a dozen fish. Um, these are just some of the clips I got. Oh, wants another one. Right. Uh, and this one took the needle as well. told me he had a pretty big family, so they're all going to be eaten. And, uh, 
I was planning on taking a few myself, but I didn't. Um, that's a local hot shot. This guy is amazing. Um, a lot of current. Very good with the rod and reel. Over here, we're gonna probably try a, a new lure. I think, oh, I was throwing out a. That's a, a ranger I had on. So you get a little more distance with those rangers. Um, I actually get a lot more distance. They cast like bullets. Um, I'm not too favorable about their action, but they cast well. I went back to the yellow and I hook up again. And generally, the, when you got this bite going on um, in the day, you get out there, there's a brief period after I'll sunsets when bluefish uh, almost turn off. And uh, the bite may go on again when it gets darker out. But I've noticed. Uh, once it gets dark, unless you're using bait, uh, a lot of times the bluefish bite subsides. And I'm pretty sure that happened this day. I probably fished a little bit into the night and uh, rolled out soon after. This was all done um, on warmer days, of course. This was uh, last spring, May, um, I think, around mm, the 20s, May 20s, something, maybe a little later in the month. And that's going to be the peak month, uh, one of the peak months for blues in the area, just about everywhere. They're going to be uh, all over the place on good years. And um, this guy, I think, took a bottle plug here. I'm just going to, like I'm unhooking it. And, uh, just looking at back at warmer days and uh, trying new things in cold winter. Stuck at home doing paperwork. I took a few minutes every night to work this out and um, try a new methods on our videos. Uh, always changing, hopefully evolving instead of devolving. And uh, that's uh, where I'm aiming at. Uh, so, adding new tracks and dimensions and whatnot in the video. Oh, got in that wash today. It did okay. And, uh, well, everyone, hope you all have a warmer winter. I hope it's short. I'll be doing some more videos. Uh, I'm not going to be putting them out every other day or one a week. Probably one every week or two. Uh, I have a, a few things planned and old footage uh, that I hope to get out to you. Um, and maybe do some live streaming as well. But I'd like to thank you all for watching. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. As much as uh, we all did making it. And uh, have a pleasant evening day. And I'll catch you soon. <laughs>